New at 5, like tulips, it's a story that always pops up every spring as we watch people scramble to file their taxes before the April deadline. It's true, but this year it could actually pay to be a procrastinator. News 5's Mike Brookbank shows us why early filers are now re-examining their tax returns. You can call it a tax season surprise. We did not know that that's going to happen. When President Trump signed the Bipartisan Budget Act into law early last month, previously expired tax deductions were extended. For a lot of people, it would have been better to wait. One of the most popular allows homeowners to deduct mortgage insurance premiums. However, most likely the Form 1098 that they received would not have included those mortgage insurance premiums. There's a separate box on the form for that. Right now, banks and mortgage companies are scrambling to send out new forms. They're supposed to issue corrected 1098s by March 15th. For those who've already filed, and they might be missing out. Big bucks could be on the line. So the savings would be anywhere from maybe a couple hundred dollars to up to $500. But not everyone will need to amend their already filed returns. It's phased out based on your income level. Couples and individuals with an income below $100,000 are eligible for the full credit. It starts getting phased out for anything above six figures. And if their income's over 109,000, they lose the ability to take the mortgage premiums entirely. Mortgage insurance premiums, not the only provision extended. So is the home energy credit for new doors, windows, and insulation. This was the first year that we were telling people, no, unfortunately, you did it in the wrong year. The advice from accountants we spoke with, taxpayers should take advantage of the changes. This might be their last chance to benefit from a provision like this. But also be prepared to spend money to earn a little extra. We usually charge for amending the returns, so uh, it is not our fault. Reporting in Cleveland, Mike Brookbank, News 5.